Did you know that nettles are one of the most nutrient dense plants we have around? They are loaded with vitamins like A, C, and K. They're super rich in calcium for healthy hair and nails and bones. They are protein rich as can be, like seriously, one of the most protein dense plants you can get into your body. So if you're somebody who's vegan and are looking for other sources of protein, nettles can be an incredible friend to have on hand. And not only that, today I'm going to show you how you can blanch them so that you can easily add them to other recipes and not get stung while doing it. <laughs> so if you like this kind of thing, go ahead and subscribe to my channel. Click the little bell. You'll know when I put new recipes up and hang on because we are going to learn how to blanch nettles today. All right, so we are going to get ready to blanch some nettles. And I know it's like stinging nettles. This might be something you're afraid of or you're like, I am not touching those plants because they're gonna sting me. But the reality is nettles are an incredible food and plant that you can use for medicine in your life, that you can use in pestos, on your pizza, in your eggs if you do eggs. Um, you can put it in soups and stews. You can do so many things with it and it's just, incredible. It's one of the most nutrient dense plants we have out there. It's really rich in iron and also in vitamin C. So the C, vitamin C helps the iron to be absorbed better in your body. And so I figured today it would be a really good time to teach you just how to blanch the nettles because once you blanch the nettles, the sting goes away and they're much easier to handle. You can add them to all kinds of dishes as if you were using uh, spinach or something along those lines. So I'm really fortunate. I get to go out on beautiful walks in nature in the morning to walk my puppies and I have a really abundant nettles patch pretty much in my backyard while I'm walking my doggies. And I gathered all of these nettles yesterday with the intention of blanching them, but I wasn't able to. So this is day old nettles hanging out ready to get blanched so that we can add them to all kinds of delicious food recipes as we go on. I'm gonna make a nettle pesto later. And if you want, I have a link to the video on how to do that nettle pesto. You're gonna love it, it's super delicious. And then I've also got a link to a video where I teach you how to harvest nettles without needing to use gloves. If you didn't notice, I just picked that chunk of nettles up with no gloves. Cool, so let's get into it. All right, so we're gonna take the nettles that I gathered. I'm putting them in a colander because I've got one. I've also got this big pot of water. It's a big Dutch oven. And I'm gonna put my nettles in there for about 30 seconds to just get the blanching process started. But I've got more. But wait, there's more. <laughs> my cheese comes for free along with the video because that's how I roll. I feel so fortunate like carrying around this big basket and a bunch of nettles. You could also use just a slotted spoon. You could put them into the water and let them blanch in that way. But since I have this big, big, big colander to put them in there, that's what I do. You wanna make sure they all get nice and inside of the water. Um, it doesn't take long. And the really cool thing is once they're blanched, that stinging that happens with nettles goes away. If you wanna learn a little bit more about the medicinal value of nettles and the sting, I do have a podcast out all about medicinal value of nettles. But right now we're focusing most about um, making food with them, which of course, food and plants are medicine, which is awesome. But I just uh, wanted to make sure that you knew that. Oh, I also, I got a little cottonwood bud in this video or in this pot. I also gathered some cottonwood buds while I was out gathering the nettles and thought I got them all out of my basket, but apparently not. So maybe this will be a nettle and cottonwood <laughs> kind of blend here. Cool. So 
Now I have all of these super green and beautiful metals blanched. And soon I'll show you what to do next. Sweet, so now that we have our nettles blanched in our salty water, which I forgot to vocalize that we do put a little, about a tablespoon of salt in there, you basically wanna help it taste like the sea. And um, you can utilize that broth or that nettle tea with salt if you want in a soup broth later. Um, but I've got a, a little bin of ice here and I'm adding some water to it just so we can stop the nettles from cooking. We can keep all of that nutrient density in there and everything will be lovely and fine, right? Because lovely and fine is exactly how we want to be. <laughs> sometimes it comes naturally, sometimes it doesn't, right? Um, so you see that like I have this big barreling, heaping thing of nettles, but now it definitely condenses or, you know, it gets, smaller like you would when you're wilting spinach or what have you. Um, it's beautiful though. Look at how lovely and green it is. It's so rich in chlorophyll and I just, I love you nettles. So it's all chilled, it's not cooking and let's see what we do next. All right, so now that we have chilled our nettles and they're no longer cooking, this is where we wanna squish them and squeeze them. <laughs> and get all of the excess water out as best as we possibly can. You can do it in as goofy way as you want. I uh, have a tendency to really wanna do it in all the goofy ways. And if I had an extra hand, I would utilize it, but I don't. How many of you out there wish you came with eight hands? I mean, wouldn't that be exciting? You get to do so much more. I guess I could do this. Bye bye, little water. Bye bye, bye bye. So I'm excited um, to get this. Once you have them all blanched, you can freeze them for later use in whatever dishes you would put spinach in. It's a great space to use your blanched nettles. Um, fairly well squeezed here and we will move on to the next step from here which is another easy one um did you see how confidently i was able to squeeze this barrel of metals without worrying about the sting once they're blanched pretty awesome Sweet. So the next part of the process in blanching your nettles is to remove them all from the stem. So the nettles are in a mint family and they have this very strong squared stem and it shows. Um, and they're really fiber rich too. Like look at all that plant fiber. That is really amazing to keep you healthy and well. And they're so delicious when fresh. Like in the video I have where I'm out harvesting some nettles, um, I eat them fresh, like pre-blanch when they can still sting you. And I show you how to do that there. It's, it's really awesome. And we need to take better care of our planet by taking better care of ourselves, which means connecting to really awesome plants like nettles and learning how to harvest them and sustainably harvest them, always sustainably. You wanna make sure these plants that you go out and gather, one, that you always have a positive ID. Do not gather plants when you don't know what they are. You, you shouldn't do that. <laughs> um, but also just to learn how you can use them to better your life and how you can harvest them to ensure that they come back for future generations. Because I got a beautiful kid. Maybe you have a beautiful kid or grandkids or cousins or nephews or nieces or other people in your world that really deserve to be able to use these plants as medicine and food later on too. So, and then after I do this video, this particular one on blanching, I'm gonna turn these nettles into a nettle pesto. And I think today I'm gonna get really fun and crazy and I am going to do a nettle dill pesto. You should totally tune into that recipe video that I make. I'm just excited about it. But yeah, you basically just remove all those leaves from the stems, from the stems. Sometimes you can sing to your plants and your friends. 
I'm a little silly like that. I really like to sing to my plant friends. They give me so much joy and so much happiness and so much nutrition and good medicine. And so now that we got all these beautiful blanched nettles, you can do so many things from here. You can pop it into a frittata, you can add it into a soup or a stew, you can pop them in your smoothies, you can freeze them for later use, which is really nice when you just have that like super abundant day of harvesting nettles out in the field. You can turn them into a nettle pesto. Really, sky's the limit. Pretend like it's spinach, only a lot more nutrient dense. Like Popeye should have seriously chosen nettles over spinach. Um, yeah, that's all you gotta do. Super easy and super good for you. Cool, so if you found that valuable and you like learning about herbalism and how you can use plants as medicine, please subscribe to my channel, The Herbalist Path. And if you want, you can hit that little bell. It'll tell you every time I have a new video out for you. I love teaching you about how to use plants as medicine. So it's gonna be a lot of fun. Also, be sure to check in to the video on how to harvest nettles in the wild in a very sustainable fashion, ensuring more comes back for future generations. Super important. And tune into my video where I do a lemon dill nettle pesto for a delicious spring meal ahead of me. Thanks so much for tuning in. Y'all have a great day and remember to come together, share this video, and let's make herbalism. Hashtag spread like wildflowers. Bye.